everyone and welcome to Seal Rescue Ireland. My name is Nikki and I'm the education manager here and welcome to the first episode of an eight part mini series that we're going to be filming over the next couple of weeks to tell you guys at home a little bit about the important work that we do here at Seal Rescue Ireland, the different types of seals that we can find in Irish waters, their threats, and what you guys at home can help do to protect our seals and the marine environment. In today's episode, we're going to be talking to you guys about our awesome center and the great work that we do here. And I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit about the different types of seals that we can find right here in Ireland. It's a lot of information to cover, so let's get started. Seal Rescue Ireland is a charity based in the Republic of Ireland and our three main focuses are the rescue, the rehabilitation, and the release of sick, injured, and orphaned seals. So, let's start with the big map of Ireland that we conveniently have placed here in our backyard. Seal Rescue Ireland is located in Court Town in County Wexford, which is right just down here. So, since we're the only rescue and rehabilitation center in the Republic of Ireland, that means we have a lot of coastline to cover which is virtually impossible without you guys' help. Seal Rescue Ireland offers volunteer training sessions all across Ireland where we come to you in your city and we teach you how to assess the conditions of the seals and we teach you how to lift and transport them to us at our center. So we have hundreds of volunteers scattered all over the country and we really heavily rely on these volunteers to make sure that the seals get to us in the quickest and most efficient way possible. So sometimes it can be a little bit like a relay race, especially if we've got seals from all the way up north. For example, we have a seal at our center right now. His name is Poplar and he's from County Donegal. We have a rescue hotline that's manned 24 hours a day and seven days a week. So if you're ever out and about and you see a seal that might not be looking too great, please don't hesitate to give us a call at this number. The number is 087-1955-393. Now that you guys know a little bit more about the important work that we do here at our center, let's talk to you guys about the different types of seals that we can find right here in Irish waters. So there's two different types of seals that we can find here, the gray seal and the common seal. Gray seals are significantly larger than common seals, and adult males can weigh up to 300 kilos, whereas fully grown common seals can weigh around 120 kilos. Gray seals look a little bit more like dogs with their elongated muzzle and their snout, whereas common seals look a little bit more like cats with their V-shaped nostrils and shorter snouts. Behavior-wise, they're also pretty similar to dogs and cats. Gray seals are a little bit more loud and more boisterous, whereas common seals are a little bit more shy and they're usually a lot less vocal. Gray seals pup in the winter months and common seals pup in the summer months, and the two seals have completely different parenting styles. For example, gray seals are born with a really soft white coat called lanugo. Lanugo isn't waterproof, and if Lanugo gets wet, it might become very heavy and might cause the pups to drown or give them hypothermia. This means that for the first couple of weeks of its life, gray seals are left on the shore while mom goes out to hunt, and then when she's done, she'll come back onto the shore and she'll nurse her pup. After a few weeks, she'll eventually leave the pup to fend for itself. It'll shed its Lanugo and it'll venture into the water for that important first meal. Common seals are born with waterproof fur right from the get-go, so they do lots of learning with mom, who teaches them how to swim and how to hunt. Seals have lots of really awesome adaptations to help them live in the sea, which can sometimes be a pretty brutal environment. Their first adaptation is a really unique waterproof coat. Seals' coats are really soft and fluffy when they're dry, but as soon as they touch the water, their fur completely slicks down and turns them into little streamlined torpedoes. Their second adaptation is their flippers. Seals have five fingers and toes, just like humans do, but they're all connected by something that's called a membrane that webs them together to give them a little bit of extra speed underwater. Their third adaptation is their razor sharp teeth. Seals have backwards facing carnivorous teeth, just like dogs. They're great for catching, ripping, and shredding their prey and they also eat lots of slippery things like fish and eels, so their backwards facing teeth help them to keep their prey from slipping back out of their mouth. Their fourth unique adaptation is their internal ears. Seals ears are very similar to human ears, but they don't have the external parts like we do. They're basically small holes in the side of their head which they can open and close when they're diving. Speaking of diving, their fifth adaptation is being able to dive and hold their breath underwater. 
Their breathing is unique because seals are manual breathers, which means that they think about every single breath they take. Humans are automatic breathers. We breathe all the time without really even thinking about it. Our seals can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes at a time, which means they require long resting periods afterwards to re-oxygenate all of their blood. Now for a fun activity that everyone can do at home. I want all of you to have a go at drawing your very own seal, showing off some of the amazing adaptations that we talked about in this episode. With the help and permission of your parents, take a photo of your seal drawing and post it to a social media account. And make sure you tag us in the post so that we can see your awesome artwork. All of our social media platforms are listed at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I hope you learned a little bit more about the important work that we're doing here at the center and a little bit more about the different types of seals that we can find right here in Irish waters. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be talking to you guys about the different types of threats that seals face in their natural environment. So next, we'll be talking about something that's actually already in our everyday lives, plastics. Make sure you guys are following us on all of our social media platforms. We're at Seal Rescue Ireland on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok and we're at seal underscore rescue on Twitter. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe. Let's do this together. Bye guys.